you know, it was a really, really great year we had in terms of uh, vintage conditions last year, and I was fortunate enough to to be able to, uh, you know, pursue a lot of the, the evolution that I wanted to from a wine quality point of view and style. And I mean, so there's lots of examples of that, but one was, uh, one was looking at with Syrah and Pinot in particular, the use of more whole cluster fermentation. And it wasn't just driven from a, a technique point of view. I've always been of the belief that those wines, you know, they, they come with risk, but I'm fortunate enough to having had a long history with the use of whole, whole cluster fermentation that we now think that without vine maturity that we have, that we have confidence that these vines are now um, at a better point of self-regulation. So we're getting the right bunch dynamics. But I, I look at those wines and, and those, you know, those heroes of around the world that have been, you know, using that, you know, the Romani Contis and the Jamais of the world, that we, we like to aspire to be spoken about in the same conversations. And those wines always, you know, they take longer to hit their peak, but the peak is so, so much further into the future. And there's a level of excitement and vitality in those wines. And that's something that I feel really strongly about, um, you know, bringing and, and um, you know, showing that the climate that we live in New Zealand is full of that vitality and that, and that expression. So that was something that we concentrate a lot in 2019, but into 2020, um, and, you know, and the new tools that we're able to bring to the winery, I was fortunate enough to, obtain a new distemma this year that's going to give us a lot more whole berry and so this year there's that 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 you know that that striking that balance between whole berry and whole whole um, bunch fermentation and whole berries is going to deliver us this you know this new stratospheric kind of um expectation of wine quality in particular in Pinot Noir, and i'm really excited about that also able to attain you know certain types of coopers that i've always aspired to get my hands on and never been able to in stockinger and domain laurent and these are all these things that whilst they're they're minor in the global um that you know there's just a small piece of pie and whatever we do it's all going to make that incremental increase in quality it's not just in Pinot and, and Syrah. I'm looking at all the varietals, and we, you know, look at Riesling, which has always been something that's really close to it, to our heart at Craggy Range. And I think of that wine and that varietal in the context of the world at the moment, where people are just craving flavour. You know, they're going out for dinner and they want that flavour, some Riesling. And you know, I adapted the the crushing technique and the time on skins and the press is a bit of a you know a nod to the wines of faults which i've always loved and, and spent a bit of time over there as well so these are just the things we're thinking about now we're looking at every variety and analyzing have we been making it to the best of our ability is there another way but it's all about that balance isn't it it's that balance and that excitement and that flavor and that's what we're chasing and that what i'm looking at at every single major varietal group that we make um, Another one now is that we, we look to now to the to the vineyards and you know I've always thought of Timona since I've arrived. It's been an amazing kind of palette um, to, with what's to make wine at. We've got 31 hectares and I make 45 different Pinots. So it is a small Burgundian village. And I'm now really treating that way, you know, where we've got the, you know, would it be like the Araha block and, you know, lo and behold, it's on a mid slope, um, similar to that of the Grand Cru. But we are really looking at now dissecting that, vi that village of Tamuna into the plots to, to, to where they would be determined for wine so that we can be farming with more precision as well not just making with precision but farming with precision and that's really important and i think that's what you know we we would challenge ourselves to always be thinking about the fact that are we farming them you know in into the the, the individual plot needs and that's why we set up the business in a way that we did or we set up the vineyard so uh, all of this is about you know thinking looking at inward and, and and outward at the same time and outward for inspiration but inward to make sure that we are we are looking at every single thing we've done in the past and what has made up those sections of those vineyards and starting to analyze them